Hi guys, today we are going to be discussing how a motorcycle clutch operates. So, starting, let's look at the names of the components. And this is the colloquial name and not the technical terms. So, first of all, this is the clutch bell. So, this is the component in which the entire clutch assembly sits or this houses the entire clutch assembly. This is the clutch hub in which the entire clutch pack will be sitting. And this is known as a hub center or in some terms known as the pressure plate and so on. And this is the clutch plate and this is a steel plate. And these little things are the clutch spring. And this is the clutch spring plate. And this is a driving gear. The driving gear is attached to the engine main shaft. So as the engine spins, this gear spins. And this in turn drives the driven gear behind the clutch bell. So when the engine rotates, the bell also rotates along with the engine. And this bell is always in sync with the engine. If the engine RPM varies, the bell rotation varies. And there is no changing that. So how does a clutch work? So clutch relies on friction, friction between these two components. So in short summary, if I have to tell, the clutch spring maintains a compression force in between these two components, forcing them to rotate equally along with each other. So when we depress the clutch, we effectively are separating these two components so that they can rotate in different speeds or you can tell to cut off the power transmission to the gearbox from the engine. So how are these components arranged? So first we have to place the clutch plate followed by the steel plate and if you notice the hub has grooves in them and the steel plate has protrusions which match the grooves so now if you see the clutch hub and the steel plate rotate always together and if you see the clutch is actually free the clutch is not connected to the hub. So, like I said earlier, for every clutch plate, there is a steel plate behind it and so on. And uh, multiple combinations of them form a clutch pack. So, this is a 5 clutch plate and 4 steel plate pack. And the hub center sits so so if you see if pressure is not applied the clutch can spin freely clutch plate it spins freely and it does not turn the hub if pressure is applied the friction between the clutch and the steel plate doesn't allow the clutch to spin freely it in turn spins the hub the hub is connected to the gearbox so the drive comes in such a manner the engine produces the power and the power is transmitted to the clutch bell via the driven gear and rotates the bell and if you see carefully the bell also has grooves in them 
in which the clutch plate sits. Like so. So what happens is when the clutch bell rotates the clutch plate also rotates along. So like I said earlier the power comes from the driven wheel and driving wheel setup which rotates the clutch bell and the clutch bell rotates the clutch plate and if you notice if pressure is not applied the clutch does not turn the clutch hub because there is no pressure in between the clutch plate and the steel plate forming frictional force to join them together this is where the springs come into play these springs are placed in such a manner such that when they are bolted on they pull the hub center outward which forms a pressure on the clutch plate and the steel plate so when you are not depressing the clutch lever the spring puts force on the hub center joining the steel plate and the clutch plate so so that they rotate together now if you see when i apply force if i rotate the bell the hub also rotates along So this is how power is transmitted. So engine produces the power which is transmitted to the bell and from the bell it is transmitted to the clutch plate and from clutch plate to steel plate and steel plate to hub and the hub transmits to the gearbox. So when you depress the clutch lever there is a cam which pushes inward separating the clutch plate and steel plate or you can tell we are putting a force against the spring separating the steel plate and the clutch plate which in normal condition are always compressed together so when we effectively separate them we get the drives disconnected so effectively your gear box is disconnected from the engine so that is the basic principle and working of a clutch assembly of a motorcycle if you like my video please subscribe and share the video thanks for watching